Hi there. In this video we present a method which is very useful in performing qualitative tests for carbohydrates. In general, carbohydrates are compounds that have at least one aldehyde or ketone functional group and two hydroxyl groups. This is especially true for most sugars, so the majority of sugars are carbohydrates. For example, glyceride aldehyde is the simplest carbohydrate for sugar. Sucrose, fructose, glucose and lactose are the most commonly encountered carbohydrates. So let's get started. The test is very simple and easy to conduct. First of all, we prepare ourselves some filtered paper strips which have been soaked in the reagent. In this case, the reagent is aniline acetate. Since we only want to have three or four test strips, we just add one drop of glacial acetic acid to a watch glass, followed by about 10 drops of distilled water. To this one drop of aniline is added. After mixing, strips of filter paper are soaked in the obtained solution. If you want to have a larger amount of reagent, 10 milliliters of aniline are dissolved into 100 milliliters of 10% by weight acetic acid. In our small scale example, precise measuring is not necessary. We then soaked some strips of filter paper in this reagent. Next, some D-glucose was added to a test tube, followed by concentrated phosphoric acid. The test tube was heated with a Bunsen burner. As soon as steam began to rise, the test strip was hold near the mouth of the test tube. Soon, it began to change color to a light pink. Next, D-fructose was tested in the same way. This gave an even stronger color. Finally, some flour was tested and this gave a very strong and distinct coloration. Note that we only use these large amounts of test substances to make the color easy to detect by the camera. When performing this experiment in the lab, very small quantities of substances are enough to cause a visible change in color.
What happens here is that the carbohydrates are broken down by the phosphoric acid to form various decomposition products, including cyclic aldehydes like berthyro. This can couple with aniline salts to form a dianaline derivate of hydroxyglutaconaldehyde. This compound has a lot of alternating double bonds and delocalized pi electrons, so it is strongly colored in our visible spectrum.